I bought this module from Aliexpress. I will put a link in the description below. This electronic device can generate a frequency range of about 8 kHz to 160 MHz. This is cool, I know. Um, it's a it's called SI5351. It's a uh, frequency synthesizer or simply a, fre a frequency generator based on PLL or phase locked loop principle. Okay, let's dig into what's in the PCB. When we look at the PCB itself, it's pretty small, comparing with 80, 90, A50 and other DDS PLL frequency generators. It contains a SI5351 chip itself, and beside it, it has a 25 MHz crystal oscillator as a reference frequency. And the chip divides this frequency or multiply it, depends on what you need a frequency value to generate. It can generate 3 clock outputs on the top at the same time. And the bottom we have 7 pins, VN or VCC, ground, I squared C, SDA and SCL, because um, it communicates with I squared C protocol, which you can use it with Arduino. And also 3 clock outputs, I like it personally because I don't like soldering on the top of the PCB pins. It look awful. So I prefer hook it on the breadboard. Uh, so yeah, you can output it from the breadboard, not from the module itself. And we have voltage regulators, because the chip operates just on 3.3 volts. And on the back we have nothing to show, just has some info in it and some header pins. I think I covered all module. Next step, let's plug it to Arduino and see what waveform outputs look like. Okay, we have breadboard, Arduino, SI5351 and dumper wires. First things first, grab two wires and plug it to 5 volts of the Arduino to VN of the module and ground of the Arduino to ground of the module. These are power supply wires. And last, we need just to plug I squared C pins to Arduino that he will be able to interact with the module and communicate with it. And we are done. The next step is you launch your Arduino program. Click on the sketch. Go to include library, then manage library. And search for SI5351. And click enter. Download version 1.0.0 of Etherkit SI5351. Ok, click on file, example, go all the way down until you will find Ethercat SI5351. Click on SI5351 example. This sketch code will be able to make SI5351 to generate two different frequencies at the same time. Clock 0 is 40 megs and clock 1 is 20 megs. Well, you can modify it by changing numbers here. Unfortunately, my oscilloscope is kinda old, and his bandwidth is 10 MHz, so I can't go all the way up to 10 MHz. So we remove 4 here in clock 0, and replace it with 0. So it will be... how much? 10 MHz I guess, yes. And for clock 1 we set it for example 1 MHz. Ok, let's run the sketch. And bingo, it's uploaded. When I probe the clock zero, you will see a beautiful sine wave. And same with clock one. I will try with my SDR receiver, where I can see higher frequency. And by the way, my um, my receiver can receive radio signals about 1 MHz up to 1.7 GHz. This is huge! We are back to the software. Let's try with 100 MHz.
And there he is, a 100 MHz peak appear on SDL software. So, in conclusion, this generator, you can use it for different projects, like a variable frequency oscillator or VFO, for your amateur radio receiver, as well as you can use it as telemetry transmitter, Moscow transmitter, whatever. You need to be creative with it, that's all. So, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like the video. It encourages me um, to make more videos like that. Thanks.